Honestly, this is the easiest thing to do. It's going to change how you answer every single individual question. I'm going to talk about situational judgment today and how I went from like a band three to a band one. And then next week, I'm going to talk about abstract reasoning and how I went from a 400 something to an 820. So if you're excited for either of these videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And um, yeah, let's move on to the video. Okay, this has been a very stressful week. It's dark now. I'm going to talk about three things, right? These are three things that really help me in my situational judgment. Situational judgment is odd, okay? Basically, you start off okay. Then you become crap and then you become really, really good. And that is for a very, very, very simple reason. When you start out, you have a fresh perspective. But as you progress, you're looking for the trick questions and you interpret every single question as though it were a trick question. This is how you get back up and you get a band one and you do well. There are three important things that are really going to help you. Get through the questions as quickly as you can. Flag any that you are uncertain of. I know it's the end of the paper, there isn't really much time pressure. So compared to the rest of the paper, this is like the time when you can kind of zone out and relax and do the questions. They're also quite enjoyable. They have some relationship to medicine. They're actually just a fun kind of set of questions to do, especially compared to all of the high pressure other ones. But if you go through the questions really quickly, if you flag any you're uncertain of, then you can go over them with a new perspective. And that is key. If you can go over them with a new perspective, you're not falling into the traps set out by the stem. The stem is designed to catch you and give you a reason why actually it would be a very appropriate thing to do when it's actually a very inappropriate thing to do. It just likes doing that. It's just its skull. So if you come back to the questions you are uncertain of, and are looking at the questions without the bias provided by the stem, you actually have a completely different perspective. What I actually found is sometimes I'd put something as a very appropriate thing to do and change my mind and decided actually that's a very inappropriate thing to do. But it's just with that new perspective that I was able to do that. Honestly, this is the easiest thing to do. Out of all of these, this is the easiest thing to do. Put one of the middle ones. Okay. The probability that you don't get it wrong is 75%. If you pick one of the outside ones, it moves up to 50%. That's double the probability of you getting it wrong. So if you're a bit uncertain, then use your judgment, but just pick middle ones. It's just a smart move to do. It's going to change how you answer every single individual question. It's not going to help you with your rate. It's not going to be trying to get you those extra few marks, but it's literally going to be the difference between you doing well and you doing poorly. And that is to put yourself into the shoes of whoever is, I guess, marking or invigilating that person. So if you're a junior doctor, put yourself in the shoes of a consultant. If you're a med student, put yourself in the shoes of your academic tutor. Pick the person who is above you. And that answer will actually be better because what they try to do in the STEM, like I've said before, is try to trick you into thinking actually that's an appropriate thing to do. But most of the time it's really not. So think about it in the perspective of the academic tutor, of the consultant, of a person in charge. When in doubt, GMC, what would they want you to do? Just look at it above down. Don't be the dumb person who decides, actually, it would be very appropriate for me to go and get a glass of water during surgery. Nay. I hope this video has really helped you in the sense of just identifying three big, really important things that if you hone, you can actually really improve your grade. If that is the case, then please subscribe so you don't miss out on my abstract reasoning one, which is how I got from like 400 something or a very low score to 820 because that is going to be a very similar thing where there are some big things that you can do that are really going to boost your score. And please keep sending me messages on my Instagram because all these messages highlight key questions which I can then go through in videos or I can answer to you directly. So if you guys have any questions that you want me to answer, please message me. I literally just did it. I just had all of that pressure. You can literally watch my before and after video. Actually, you should definitely go watch my before and after video if you already haven't because you'll really see but you're not the only one. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm so excited to see you next week and goodbye.